How's it going everybody? Welcome to my channel and my video review of the DJI Phantom 3 waterproof turtle shell hard case backpack. Now it comes in black, carbon fiber or golden colors and it weighs in at 2.5 kilograms. The hard case is really nice and it provides very good protection for the Phantom 3 and the bottom has a nice flat area here and there's a nice handle on the top just like a regular backpack so you can lift it up and put it down flat on any flat surface but as you can see it is just a flat surface and there's no footing the footing however is on the cover of the backpack and the backpack is actually made to be sitting upside down like so because the Phantom 3 is inside right side up at this moment. Taking a look at the hard case, the bottom of course is the, the black that I ordered. Uh, it comes in carbon fiber and um, the golden color as well. Um, it doesn't have any protection on the outside as you can see. It's just a plastic shell. But on the opposite side of the lid, um, it has the plastic on the inside, but it's coated with uh, a cloth and it is really nice. Um, the straps itself are nicely padded and ventilated. Uh, it's not the heaviest duty um, straps, but it's mid duty, I, I, I guess you can call it. And it has nice pull uh, straps as well, and it works really well. And there's a belt uh, buckle you can wrap it around your waist and it comes undone and it is circular type so it moves with you so it's really nice and the padded uh, back rest is ventilated and it has nice foam inserts as well um, all in all it's a really solid backpack nice zippers and being waterproof i'm not sure that it will be waterproof um, maybe um, this area right here uh, if you dip it in water and the water goes up to around here level, uh, it is waterproof. But as you can see, um, the water will seep in through the zipper area and the, the whole entire sewing of the zipper area if it, was, if it was to be completely submerged in water. So I wouldn't do that. But as far as being uh, waterproof, not 100%. It is more like water resistant and it's very well water resistant because of this one piece um, turtle shell um, structure. Okay, so let's take a look at the inside. Let me do undo the zippers here and open the baby up. I already have the, uh, the Phantom 3 already inserted in there. And I must say it's a perfect fit. Uh, everything fits in here that I need, uh, that I got in from the uh, original Phantom. Uh, the quadcopter goes in here really nicely. Perfect fit, as you can see. Uh, you need to remove the props, of course. Um, let me take that out. And in this pocket here, I have the charge cord and the charge assembly. And I have the transmitter fits in here perfectly it does not move and it goes in there perfectly uh, but one thing that i want to mention is that these antennas as you can see when i close the uh, lid uh, the shape of the top is a rectangle and you will need to make sure that you are not squeezing down the antenna so you need to move the lid back and forth a little bit to get the antennas perfectly inside of that rectangular shaped uh, uh, cutout so you're not squeezing down on the um, the antennas now i have my props here that i use and i also have a set of extra props inside here and in this pocket um, i have the the neck cord that holds the uh, the transmitter to my neck as well as there's three more compartments here for extra batteries 
but at the time I don't have extra battery so I'm putting in my um, the USB to the iOS device cord in here and just some extra stuff that came with the DJI Phantom like these cords here so all in all everything fits in here perfectly and let me show you something too let me show you how the inside of the lid looks like I can pop this out from the lid and it's a nice uh, pre uh, molded um, foam that has all all the correct um, uh, perfectly made uh, cutouts and inserts for the DJI Phantom and as you can see here this is the, uh, the plastic uh, it's not as strong by itself but once you put this foam insert in here which fits perfectly it becomes a pretty strong case from the outside and let me go ahead and put everything back in this spot cord goes in in a specific way and There is, however, one small imperfection that I've found on this bag is that the sewing on the zipper is not as straight as it could be. And as you can see, this side is a little narrower than this side. So that is just quality control there on the sewing people's job. But on the side is pretty good. And on the other side is good as well. So I'm happy with it and I'm really impressed by the design and the quality of this backpack and the fact that everything fits in there perfectly and most of all it's it's the price it is uh, on sale for $38.99 and it beats the heck out of the original DJI Phantom backpack which sells for I believe $149 so and the quality as far as I can see from the photos almost identical so you get a really good buy at banggood.com uh, $38.99 shipped to your house from the US factory uh, or the US warehouse and all I can say is I'm really happy with it you know now um, I can go on a trail and carry this on my back and take some uh, nice uh, breathtaking um, uh, videos from um, wherever I am so I don't have to carry around my uh, box that the DJI Phantom came in um, that everybody be staring at everywhere I go uh, so this is really nice uh, maybe I'll get rid of this and put something else so nobody knows that this is a, a, a quadcopter backpack and you know they'll think that this is just some uh, motorcycle hard case uh, backpack uh, all in all, like I said, I'm really happy and I'm really satisfied with this backpack and I give it a, a thumbs up, or well, two thumbs up.